been acting like a wild man I'm sleeping like a child You're so luminous and vibrant I'm always in Here she is, everyone, the beautiful, the legendary Thousand Island Lake, which is actually a reservoir, but shh, that doesn't sound as cool. Thousand Island Lake is one of Zhejiang Province's most iconic scenic spots and a can't miss destination in my 2000 kilometer almost solo bike tour. Although the bike tour is not solo in this video because I actually have a couple of local guides and photographers join me at certain sections. Yesterday, I biked a whole day to get here from the neighboring city of Diendu, and I'll be continuing my way along the edge of the lake for most of today. This dog is really dedicated. He or she has been running along with my bike for quite a while now, and I'm kind of curious how long this is going to go on for. Bye-bye. Oh, cool, bye bye. This dog has been coming along with me since the moment I left the hotel, so almost nine kilometers. That's some dedication. But finally, my travel companion got worn out and stopped for a nap under a bush. I gave him all I had to offer a boiled egg. His dedication and perseverance will never be forgotten. This funky bridge right here is actually part of the triathlon for the Asian Games. This is a section of the biking route and there's also a running route over there and the swimming route in the lake. This beautiful sparkling water behind me is the swimming section of the triathlon for the Asian Games and I'm gonna give it a little try while I'm here. Wow, have a pull. On one hand, this is an excellent place to hold a triathlon because the scenery is fantastic. But on the other hand, I would fail the triathlon because I'd be too busy looking at the scenery and just like relaxing and forgetting I'm supposed to be in a race. Aside from the triathlon, Thousand Island Lake is the location of various other bike-related Asian Games events. Most of them are outdoors, except for this one. So this stadium here is the site of another biking competition held here at the Asian Games in Hangzhou. Of course, I had to visit all of the biking related things. They are not practicing at this moment, but I have seen them in action before and it is frightening how fast they go, but it is really amazing. And after all, they are my bike brethren, even though they're like a totally different species, but they are still in the bike family. So of course I had to stop by here and pay this place a little visit. At a glance, this just looks like another cute piece of traditional architecture, but actually, it's a wastewater treatment plant in disguise. Look how cute it is. This is the Oh. 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 Oh.
他们在船上睡觉啊。啊，来了吗？刚刚来吗？哇！因为那个不能把自己的不干。It seems all the action in this entire place is concentrated at this one fishing dock because for the next four hours, I just drifted alone through peaceful nature and barely encountered anyone except for two ladies looking for a bus stop. 这里有公交车吗？不知道。我不知道。哦，你你是快递的啊？对。不知道。这里太偏僻了。哎，加油吧。加油。Finally, after 80 kilometers of scenery and scenery and scenery and more scenery, I arrived at my destination, the tiny town of Baijiang. The name of this place means a hundred rivers, so there should be lots of water around here. Maybe a nice place to go for a swim at some point or another. So yeah, let's do some exploring. Good morning, everyone from Baijiang. Today, I'm going to be doing some local biking before I set off on my journey to my next destination. And of course, a top priority item is to go swimming because this is the land of a hundred rivers, after all. This place is called Dragon Scale Dam because it's designed in a way that looks like the scales of a dragon and. Adults usually swim in this upper section because it's deeper, and then the kids will play in the scales. This is my third outdoor swimming spot throughout this bike tour, and finally, I'm not swimming alone. Shuen, 怎么样？啊，还好。你你戴眼镜有啊？我戴眼镜打掉。All right, friends, it's time to enjoy nature. Please leave all your earthly possessions behind. Except for this camera, because as the ancient proverb says, "Did you even do a thing if you didn't share it all over the internet?" Hello. Hello. Two, two, two. Two, two. Oh, they're in my hand. I'm not afraid of them. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. I tried to be the stable island that they needed, but I just wasn't enough. I hope they find whatever it is they're looking for. As with countless other places I've passed on my route, these pleasant waterways are made possible by a vast array of tiny wastewater treatment plants. Some are obvious at a glance, and others blend right into the scenery. 在集镇上，包括我们在农村里面，我们所有的污水都是蜡管的。它上面通过三级过滤，就是粗中细，最后过滤了以后，它的水通过我们的这个植物在吸附，然后最后的这个钨离池和沉淀池吸聚在这里，然后隔一段时间把它清理一次。入口和出口它会有几个实时的传感器，定期呢我们也会人工的来取样。呃，日常的运维全部是委托第三方的环保公司，已经全覆盖了。我们全镇像这样，今天这样的美丽绿道，一共有三十四公里。这里原来是我们一个破坏生态的小木加工厂，现在变成了我们美丽的民宿。你看它里面的这个老房子，特别有味道，就是原来这个工厂的这个老房子，后来它改造成了一个网红的餐厅。I feel like I'm transported back to my childhood in this room because when I was younger, my parents would take me to West Virginia every year in the fall, and we would stay in these log cabins out in the woods, and this place just has that exact same vibe. 你看，它原来作为工厂的烟囱都还在，现在变成了一个非常漂亮的民宿。有个大口。对，他们自己用黄瓜做的
咸菜，小咸菜，黄瓜干，对，黄瓜干，这还真没见过呀。黄瓜不是基本上全是水吗？酸黄瓜，酸黄瓜，你可以这样理解。你看他们后面的很多蔬菜水果，全部是为他们民宿做供应的。Speaking of food, it's time for lunch at a local family's house. 这个是鸭子，是自己养了三四年的老鸭。这个是，那个是我们的那个无无鳍鸡，就我们自己家养的那个鸡。这个家里还有鸡啊。然后这个是萝卜块和那个去年的腊肉配那个萝卜块蛮好吃的，这个东西，萝卜块哎。再去种菜都是自己家里的。你看那个鸡、鸭，它都是靠这个爪子在找食物，在谋生计、谋生存的。所以，我们为什么喜欢吃这个鸡爪呢？就是这个东西可以作为谋生计的手段，大家把它当成抓钱的、抓钞票的。<笑>所以大家有这样美好寓意，大家把它当做抓钱爪、抓钱爪。然后就把它卤掉以后就很喜欢吃。You may be wondering if I've come to like these after all these years in China, and while I appreciate the symbolism for sure, the rubbery texture is just not for me. I did love all the other food at the table though. After this delicious home cooked meal, I'll be heading north, and on the road there will be lots more interesting places and encounters with locals waiting to be discovered. Hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful scenery of Thousand Island Lake and Hundred River Town, and I will see you in the next video.